202 aviantus is going to be approximately 60 Kriata kills once again come on now before i do this i want to roll a dice on this basically there's a bot on discord we can type in plus kill 60 armadil it's kind of like a fun thing that i can do plus kill 60 armadil let's see this is the prediction of the trip that i'm gonna do or multiple trips but this whole slayer task Come on, let's see. Is this bot is gonna get anything? Armadil helmet? Okay, wait, I wanna do. I, I need motivation. Come on, show me some. No, another helmet. Okay, last one. No more after this one. Okay, chest plate. But that's all of what, like, that's a third task or something. I have completed one already. Okay, so actually when I recorded this was a couple days ago, and I decided to go to Revenants instead of Armadil, but I am gonna do it today because I need a little bit of money, and obviously Revenants helped helped really a lot because now i can buy anguish look at this inventory probably there's still more items in the bank oh look at this cash stack just extra money it's actually more because i have like more supplies now than i had before okay time to buy anguish and go to armadil instead of using that amulet of fury all right last kill nothing 123 kills i still have actually have supplies i think i'm gonna do one more kill just just maybe this is like flashbacks to bandos where i did like 160 kills with no drops and i, I really tried hard i had like 70s in my melee stats i i brought like bgs my success rate for a single kill was only 60 percent but then later actually got like four items by the time i, I hit 500 total bandos kills so Maybe the same is gonna happen. Plus, it's such a chill boss in Armadil. So, at the end of the Armadil trip, I got messaged by one of the guys from Liege BA. Okay, let's see if all of them are above. Yes, they are. Oh my god. This took three and a half hours. That's how long they usually do for all of them. But it was so AFK. Oh my god. Okay, if you read this, there we go. Oh my god. Elite task that takes three and a half hours to do. So, again, thank you very much to Liege BA for doing this for free. This is like the fourth time they have done this to me. I know they have done this to to Alkin as well and a bunch pretty much most youtubers are using some sort of uh, boosting service I think it was the Leech BA but I can't tell I guess all of them have the pets that's how long they do it one in 1000 drop rate so it actually would be nice to complete Kandarin hard diary because I would be able to teleport to Sears village while doing agility in the future because my agility is fairly low and this is the rooftop I think that I would choose instead of doing pollen average however there is one where I have to purchase a granite body from barbarian assault so I'm not sure if I can just buy it oh yeah kill the queen 14 times it actually stacks and i think you only need coins for this one so i can just purchase like this and equip it i think yeah there we go now by completing hard diaries i also have 10 percent higher chance of bolts enchantments working you know like diamond bolts ruby bolts and i was just doing armadil so it would have been extremely helpful but in the future tasks it's gonna help a lot. Oh yes, 17k XP away, one level gained. Also a combination from the diaries with Tears of Guttix and 9.7k XP. Jesus, I got a level and almost again a level. Ooh, and I also, these diaries, a lot of them are not completed. And especially Elite. The problem with Elite though is that you need level 70 rune crafting, so I probably wouldn't get it from just, you know, regular, like hard, medium, easy. I would actually have to train it, unfortunately. Now, only recently I found out that Din's Bulwark has a special attack that attacks multiple enemies. You see that? I'm not sure what that means, actually. Red is that means that I will be attacking them. So let's try to use it on... Okay, these are too far now. All of them were highlighted at some point. I, I gotta wait. Now, now it's fine. If this comes by, do this. All of them. Boom. You saw that? That's right. That's a special attack of Din's Bulwark. my god this guy said good luck i said thanks bro eternal gym this is what i wanted to buy i just didn't want to spend like six mil i think it is oh my god this looks so beautiful wait i gotta take a screenshot of this <laughs> yeah oh dude okay let's examine this one should 8.7 mil it's actually more just from slayer Oh, it's weird. It says uh, 8.1 here, 8.7. I think it's always body price versus Grand Exchange. Ooh, from Dark Beasts. The drop rate is 1 in 254. And I only killed like 5 of them in total. I haven't done too many Dark Beast tasks. It's crazy. And then you think of it, you go to like God Wars to do like 100 and... 
of 40 Kriara kills, you get nothing, even though the drop rate is lower if you combine all the items. Okay, so this is a lot of money, as you can see. This would pay for a lot of cannonballs and whatever other gear that I need, prayer potions, but I will be turning it into Slaring Eternal. Never made one before. Oh my god, look at that. So it's identical to normal Slayer Rings, but it has unlimited charges, which is nice. It's just pretty much for convenience. Like it used to take two inventory spaces and sometimes it's like, oh, I'm going to take this one, but then it has only one charge. And it's like, oh, well, I may need more than one charge. So having this one, I don't think you can revert this either. You can drop it. Yep. Yeah, so pretty much it's stuck to my account unless I lose it somehow. Now let's destroy these since I don't need them anymore. Oh my God. Why did I destroy it? Because of wilderness. I may still need it because these allow still to teleport from level 30 wilderness. It's like Dragonstone jewelry. Hey, another black mask. Aw, oh, dude, it's been so long since I've been at Venonat. It's probably like a month and a half. It is time to do it again. Current kill count, 1,850. I'm gonna try to get to 2,000. Also, I don't think I've been in this place since I got 99 prayers, so I should be able to last a little bit longer. Well, actually, I have only 1,800 kill count, so I'll have to do 200 kills. Let's go. I want to see that nice 2,000 kill count today. Look, 22 kills this trip, 1.5 million. Yo, he got red spider eggs. I don't know who that was. I just logged in into the world. Will they appear though? Oh, there we go. There's nobody around. So hopefully nobody's going to come. I'm just going to finish this off because I don't want to unload it because then it just messes up everything. Yes, there we go. Let's pick it up. Oh, yes. 375k. Ooh, thank you. Oh, how come does this not show up? 100 grime stamp dragon, 800k. It used to be like 1.2 million. But yeah, current kill count is 1,904. Another one? Yes, 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 come in, baby. All these onyxes too. Not this trip, I don't think. Yep, nothing. That last trip was two onyxes. Getting closer to 2,000. Come on, this is evening. I have to log off way too many times compared to the morning. <laughs> what is that question mark? I'm guessing they went as well. I don't know why. It's all, every time I see this snake skin. They were, yes! <laughs> they were Venezuelans. Every time you see the snake skin a bandana, it's th that's all they know. Adios. All right, it's going to be a big milestone for me at least. I don't know how I got to two. That. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, it's a. Uh, I know, it's a celebration. I know, Venonatus. Thank you. Thank you for the dragon pickaxe. Five million, huh? Well, 2,000 is the kill count. By the way, this is the first dragon pickaxe that I got in all of those kills that I've done, but I'm going to keep it at nice, clean 2,000. No pet. Aw, oh, dude. This looks beautiful. 2,000 kill count. No pet still. It's okay. Maybe I'm going to resume it at some point in the future. Who knows? Maybe it's fairly chill. Once you get into the rhythm, uh, the 200 kills was no problem at all. 24 D picks in total. Not just from Venonatus, of course. Vettian, Callisto. Now, something that I've been thinking about recently is these mammoths that have been recently moved all into one area. I was thinking if there is a way to lure all of them. The very good thing is that they are aggressive, so you don't have to hit them like dust devils. I want to see if you would be able to ice barrage. All of them still aggro me, but they don't stack. They're very... You see, I want to try out the ice barrage method on these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, did you can't stack them? There must be some sort of way to do this. Okay, I'm gonna bring my other account. Maybe that will allow to do that because I know when you're bursting or uh, barraging the monkeys in the tunnel, you can follow each other and they kind of like uh, stack around. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Wait, I'm gonna try to move maybe somewhere right in the middle. Try to follow now. Damn it, this would be such a nice place to barrage because these are so cheap, the ancient ice axe. There has to be some way. Okay, we're gonna try something out. Okay, I'm getting teleport blocked. This is supposed to be the safe area. He can still attack me. Oh! So anyone can attack teleport, teleport block players. So if you're teleport block, you can only attack a person that last attacked you, it seems, even after some time. But I cannot attack him. It is so weird. You can't attack winning you now. 
So if you get hit by a team, only one guy can hit you. Yeah, it seems the last guy that hits you can attack you in the enclave, it seems. See, now I cannot attack this guy. This guy hit me. 